my the story comes with that okay as a context my great grandparents parents are explorers so they go into jungles they clear up land and then they make it into a village so the, they opened up a village in Johor keep in mind this was we it was two generations before so during this time people still hunt people still fish and still go into the jungle to look for food they do farm but uh, hunting is also a big deal uh, during that time so my first story is that um, it's a simple one so uh, my great grandparents grand great grandfather we call it ah uh, uh, great grandmother we call it wer we call her wer so this is like javanese name calls my wer always go into the jungle to look for mushrooms and herbs because of how often she's been she has been doing that um she got accustomed to uh, a orang asli chief inside that so uh they exchanged a lot of information so one day she went into the jungle and then she was looking for stuff it was she went in quite late like 4 or 5 she and she was stranded um at 7 they cannot leave at that time because it's really dark and they don't, they don't have flashlights she decided to stay at this uh orang orang asli chief house while they were serving her food they were like hey uh, recently you come i mean they said like hey you you came into the jungle recently do you see anything different and she's like no not really like everything's good and then she's he's like okay keep in mind uh, just in case if you smell something uh, look around you might you might see something interesting so at that time she thought it was something like it, it was a plant or it was a, a mushroom that emits so smells when it rains this goes by after that she was on her way back when it when it start raining and then she start smelling something she smells something's really bad like uh, like hot garbage that rancid rank smell So she started to look around very curious and then she saw a very big creature hairy black brownish it was sitting under a very big tree but that creature which which they call mawas or bigfoot actually was holding a, that wax leaf plant you know they, they, it was holding it like this she was curious she was like oh what you know so when she crept closer she found out that um the creature has has a very peculiar nose you know uh, the her exact word is hidung terbalik so that is not the first time uh, it, it's not the last time that she saw this thing she saw this thing like to us it's like seeing a monkey you know it, to her it's normal it's like oh uh, she saw this thing okay you know like and then she let them pass and then she, sometimes they just like look at each other and then uh, sometimes she even shared fruits and sometimes those things like leave fruits on the on the ground and then she took it so it's like a very symbiosis kind of relationship there are stories that some of the orang asli kids actually got lost when they came back they were like asking lah, like oh how do you find your way home and it's like oh mawas uh, mawas show it to me like mawas told me where to go my wer she's illiterate so she doesn't have access to books or all these stories about big food let alone internet because at that time they still hunt Why do they get this story? I mean, there, there's no use for them to mix to make up stories. You know, they have better things to do. So I can't help but to. Uh, <laughs> it sounds bizarre, but I'm like, okay, you know, we don't know what's out there. What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. <laughs>